Hey, hey, what is up, Tube You? We have got a request from Benjamin Guevara. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that somewhat right. Hi, Andrew. I sent you a donation via PayPal. I'm not sure how familiar you are with Danny Seraphine from Chicago, as I couldn't find any of their songs on your channel. He is a student of Buddy Rich. Did not know that. And brought serious jazz chops to Chicago's pop jazz rock sound. This particular song is an instrumental that is heavily influenced by the jazz fusion of the 70s. There are several drum solos using different techniques throughout. I hope you enjoy. From their 1974 album, Chicago 7. Devil's Sweet. Cheers mate, Benjamin Guevara. Benjamin, thank you so much for your donation to the channel and this very intriguing selection. Nope, have not featured any Chicago yet, have not featured any Danny Seraphine. My background with Chicago, just gonna be completely open and honest, I'm a bit of a greatest hits Chicago fan and listener. I don't know much about the back catalog and album tracks, live footage, that kind of stuff. So this is going to be really interesting and probably more in tune with some of their 80s stuff with, I think it was Tristan Bowden was on some of the 80s hits. So really, really curious and looking forward to checking out this video of Danny Seraphine, who I know, definitely know the name and he's considered an absolute legend in drumming. But as far as I know, this might be my first actual listen to him. So let's check it out. Well, I will say before we get started, please do go along and check out the original video link as always in the description of my video. Go check out the video without me talking all over it. And this is quite a long one. So top up your coffee and settle in. Let's check out some Chicago. Nice cymbal swell there. Was not expecting that. I'm just going to back it up to the start again. Mallets. This could easily be experimental 70s fusion Miles Davis. And if you're wondering what that sound is on the drums, I know a lot of non-drummers and beginner drummers watch this channel. You might not be knowing what you're listening to. They're brushes. So brushes on the snare drum, really textured and creative stuff so far. I cannot actually believe this is Chicago. in the horn section of Chicago because I can hear soprano I can hear all different types of saxes and there's just so much going on here this must be at least what 10 piece 11 piece band I'm guessing there's a lot of instrumentation here keys and and all sorts of stuff going on loving the interplay and the independence between his left foot and the hands the hi-hat and the brushwork is just Beautiful, almost Paul Motion-ish. If you know Paul Motion, uh, drummer back in the Bill Evans trio days, uh, just a such a beautiful player. And this is reminds me of that a little bit.
guitarists, melodic instrument players, keys players. What was that chord? Tell me what this chord progression is right here. out there man and I don't mean well well bro that's pretty out there man oh bro it's just like whoop jump down snap like UFOs and stuff I mean it's pretty out there in terms of chordal and tonal material and it's uh, very very jazzy bitches bro something like that one of the miles fusiony albums I'm thinking even sort of the ESP era miles when they, or Nefertiti, I think it was, where they would play like extended or the same horn part and then solo on the rhythm instruments, which, you know, it's often the other way around. Rhythm instruments are holding it down. Horns take solos. Uh, Nefertiti changed that up and they sort of got the similar vibe going on here really really curious interesting stuff and remember guys original video link in the description of my video because i hey i have to stop it i have to talk you're watching this video i assume because you want some kind of feedback commentary on it so um please don't come at me too much that's what she said let's keep going That sound, it sounds like he's, uh, other than the brushwork, it sounds like you're scraping like the back of a brush along a cymbal there. Hopefully you're, you're listening to this with good headphones. It's that sound, it sounds like a ship, the sound of a ship sinking in a film. If, you, if you're hearing that sound, that's what it sounds to me like, it's the back of a brush, the metal part, scraping a cymbal. That, almost whale sound ah that might be synth or keys actually linear toms that's almost a take five reference
we're in full 70s cop show car chase mode now and that's not to belittle the song or laugh at it it's just it just reminds me of that style that 70s cop drama action chase kind of scene benjamin you mentioned uh pop jazz rock sound yeah and i did have in the back of my head i knew chicago like a lot of bands that they start out really different and they end up doing like a pop thing and sort of make their name as, as a big pop act but i knew they had had a experimental fusiony type background but i didn't expect it to be this i don't want to say legit i didn't expect it to be this authentically jazzy i'm pretty stunned Holy cow. Another solo. Before we launch off into this chaos and carnage again so refreshing to hear the odd stick click and the odd thing like danny is really pushing and really stretching here he is going for it that's what i want to hear that's what you should want to hear you should want to hear like it's almost about to fall apart like that's just heart and soul getting pushed into it oh my god the drums are recorded beautifully. The panning, the sound of the drums, the use of space that they've done with the panning and the toms. Oh my God, who recorded this album? I'm in shock. Very Coltrane, total Coltrane vibe there. Oh man. Oh. Now we just go into this dirty waltz.
Benjamin, that is a stunning, stunning pick, man. I am, I'm just looking at the comments on the original video here. That's just mind blowing. Um, I mean, where do you begin? 10 minute song with lots of different movements and lots of different passages through composed piece, I guess, with elements of plenty of elements of improvisation total total jazz yeah it's already a long video it's uh, just amazing danny seraphine showing just total knowledge of jazz vocab he said that he was taught by buddy rich right um you can hear he's listened to a lot of jazz you can hear the band has listened to a lot of jazz with the composition style total john coltrane miles davis homage and points but with their own spin it got pretty wild and out there and really really crunchy on the chords and the tonal material but we all came back even when danny went off and went on these really really pushing solos these little trades back and forth with the ensemble hits and then nailed those ensemble hits i can't i was trying to remember what the riff was when they came back in for those hits before he went off to do the next solo, I can't, I've totally lost it now. Man, my heart is kind of racing a bit. That was that was an intense listen. Um, couple of albums, Benjamin. I'm assuming you might be a bit of a jazz fan anyway. And if anyone's watching this video and you're intrigued by this and you want to sort of hear possibly what I think might have been an influence on this, you want to go back and have a listen to the albums Nefertiti by Miles Davis, um, ESP by Miles Davis, you might be shocked at how raw and beautiful and in some ways similar kind of vocab, similar kind of attitude. I think attitude is the word for this kind of thing. It's just a mood. It's just a vibe. And you've got to have a lot of tricks in your trick bag to capture all of that on the drums. I mean, think about getting sent this track with no drums. If you if you can try and think about that and then think, what would I add to this? How would I how would I approach this? I mean, I'm assuming you know Chicago was a legit band. I'm assuming they were rehearsing and playing a lot. Who knows? Maybe this was the way they'd warm up for a band practice. I, I'm just th spitballing ideas here. Maybe they would just jam on a vamp and then hey, take a solo. I mean, obviously the whole band is pretty well versed and well educated on uh, their respective instruments, so they've got a lot of a lot of things they can draw from. Um, yeah, I'm really rambling now because I'm just sort of gushing over this. Um, I did not expect that. I don't know what I expected now, but I did not expect that. That was phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Benjamin Guevara, thank you so much for this fascinating pick. So, so glad to get to Danny Seraphine. Finally, I've heard so much about him. He's one of those guys that, you know, you would read about in Modern Drummer magazine and he was always there, but I don't know, I just never got to him. Like so many drummers, we, we just can't listen to everybody, right? And you end up listening to your favorites over and over. But boy, oh boy, that was stunning. Guys, and please do remember original video link in the description of my video. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, and leaving a comment with what you thought of this and any info that you've got on Danny Seraphine, Chicago, or what tracks I should possibly check out next. If you would like to further support the channel, I do have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month and you get access to the blocked videos. Direct reaction requests at this point are via the PayPal link. That's the only way I can guarantee a request at this point. And remember you as a subscriber of my channel get access to a full and free 30 day trial over at Drumia. Go get it. Boy, oh boy, that was, uh, that was quite something. Guys, until next time, take care. Ciao.